iOS 26 is packed with new features. Now, of course, we have a new design. The liquid glass design actually looks amazing. It is really nice to look at, but it's also very, very smooth. And the device has new animation and it works really great. And once you go to iOS 26, you won't be able to actually use a device on iOS 18 or lower. They just seem too old. So it's packed with new features and changes, but some of them are actually very, very useful. So in today's video, I will show you guys 10 iOS 26 features that I believe are very useful and you will probably find yourself using a lot of these on daily basis once you have your iPhone updated to the new iOS 26. And we're starting with the first one. Now, this is a feature that has been before on iOS, but now it has expanded and it's amazing. So, you know, on iOS, if you get an iMessage with a code that you need to use to log in somewhere, you will see that code right here at the top of your keyboard. That's one of the most useful features of iOS. But what Apple has done with iOS 26 is that it has expanded that feature to third party apps as well. So previously, if you got that code, let's say on your iOS email app, you will get it right here on the keyboard and you can add it anywhere you need. Now you can also do that. Let's say if you receive the code on the Gmail app, so you receive the codes on third party apps. They will show up on your keyboard and you will be able to use them just like you would if you receive them on any of the stock Apple apps. Now this right here is one of my favorite new features of iOS 26. This notification right here. If you own a pair of AirPods, this is an amazing feature. So you will receive a notification when you have your AirPods charging. Once they're done charging, you will get the notification on your device that the AirPods are now fully charged. Now, what's really cool is that you get the notification also when your AirPods are, are low on battery. So once your AirPods need to charge, you will receive that notification. So for like low battery and also fully charged, you receive your notifications. Now with iOS 26, Apple has made a ton of really cool changes to the phone app. We have a lot of new features that are pretty cool and very, very useful. And one of them is this one right here. It is called hold assist. So you enable right here by going to the phone section under the app section on the settings app. You enable this and it will basically automatically detect when you're placed on hold so it can step away and you, you will basically be able to step away from the phone call and your iPhone will notify you when it's time to pick it up. So you're just like calling a service or something. You're Put on a hold you don't need to actually wait there your iphone will do that for you which is super useful it basically detects that automatically it waits for you waits on the line and once it's time for you to start talking it will actually send you a notification now this again can be enabled by going to settings apps and then going to phone right down here enable hold assist detection a lot of these stock apps on iOS 26 have gotten a ton of really cool updates. And one of them is also the Photos app, which in my opinion is the app that got the best updates on iOS 26. It's a totally new app, way different from the one on iOS 18, which most users actually didn't like at all. Now here's my favorite feature of the Photos app on iOS 26, the pinned section. So you can see right here we have the media type, the utilities of course, you can rearrange these anything any way you like but you will also have here the pin section we will have all your pin folders and even things like utilities so here i have my utilities but i also have them pinned right here so if i tap it doesn't go to an album or stuff like that it just showed me the list of my utilities and i can go to each of them directly from here now here's how it works you tap the edit button and you will have your pin stuff right here so you will have the suggestions you can tap right here to choose any of your albums or collections and of course you you can also rearrange them right here so you will have your pin stuff right here at the top or anywhere you want so you can easily have access to the things that you use the most now with ios 26 you will now be able to add quick reminders now you can do that in a few ways from the control center you can do that from the action button or from the lock screen which is my favorite one so you can tap on customize right here remove one of the buttons and then from here you can go ahead and search for reminders so if we just go ahead and add the reminder right here, you will be able to add a new reminder directly from your lock screen. So we're here on the lock screen. There I have the new reminder button. Just like that, I don't even have 
to actually unlock my device to add a quick reminder. I can go ahead and do that from here and I actually have the full features just like I would have on the reminders app. So right here I can add of course date and time, I can go ahead and add a location, flag it or choose any of the lists where I want to have that reminder. Super useful from your lock screen or of course if you want to use it on the control center or the action button you can do that but this one from the lock screen is super useful you can go ahead and have your reminders added right from your lock screen. Now with iOS 26 you will be able to now finally change the snooze time on your alarm. So if you have an existing alarm or you're adding a new one, you will have the snooze duration right here. Now the default will be nine minutes, which used to be even before, and you wouldn't be able to change it. But now you can actually change that. So you will have 15 minutes, which is the most. So from one minute to 15, you can now choose the duration of the snooze, of course, if you have it enabled. Now the camera app of course has been redesigned on iOS 26. It is really cool and it has a really cool new feature. The ability to detect when your lens is not actually clean. So you take the perfect picture. So what it will do is that it will show you like a pop up at the top asking you to clean the lens. And the way to do that, you head onto your settings, go under camera, and then right here you will have lens cleaning hits. You enable it right here, and it will display a suggestion on the camera view when you have your lens not clean. So you can go ahead and do that before trying to take a picture. Now a great thing you can do with iOS 26 is live translation. This is an amazing feature added to iOS 26. You can do that on messages, FaceTime, or even the phone app. But it's actually only working with the iPhone 15 and newer, so you will have an iPhone, you will need to have an iPhone that does support Apple intelligence. It's actually really cool. But there are a few steps, of course, to do this. So first of all, what you will need to do is make sure that you have the languages from which you want to translate downloaded into your device. To do that, you will need to head on to your settings and then go under apps, go under translate, and then you will have the languages. You make sure that you have them downloaded. Now, once you have done that, you go into the iMessage app, go to the conversation, which you want to translate. And once you go under the profile of the contact that you're speaking to, you just enable right here automatic translate, you will have translate from and translate to. And what this will do is that it automatically translates messages for you, you receive the message in this case in Spanish, it does automatically translate it for you into English. The next one will be of course the charging time. We have been waiting for this feature to come to iOS 18 but it never made it. Now it's here with iOS 26 so you can see it shows you how much you have charged and how much time you will need to charge your iPhone to 80%. So the way it works while your iPhone is charging, once you wake up the screen of your iPhone, it does display that at the top right there for a few seconds. So very easy to know how much time is required for your iPhone to charge. And last but not least is typing to Siri. Now I know you could type to Siri before, but now you can type to Siri also while on the phone call. This couldn't be done before. So you're on a phone call, you need some information from Siri. All you have to do is just double tap right here at the bar. It will show you the keyboard from where you can ask Siri anything, even while your iPhone is making a call, which is actually super, super useful. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.